You know, it's funny. When I was in my early 20s, a midlife crisis was something that happened to people in their 40s or 50s. You know, rich men who lift who left their families to shack up with airheaded women half their age uh, end up playing a guitar in a pub really badly because <laughs> they lost their job. Uh, that's not true. Well, it is, but you don't have to wait for middle age. I remember how weird it was to turn 30. Suddenly I wasn't young anymore, but my life wasn't really all that different. I think that's the thing that scared me. People around me were getting promoted and getting married. Two of my best friends were now fathers, and they hadn't rushed into it either. I was still only just earning my age in thousands, 30 grand a year, doing a job I vaguely liked, but not really going anywhere fast. I told myself no one really was because the credit crunch and all of that had slowed things down, but it was only partly true. The truth was I didn't know where else I was supposed to go. By 32 the job was doing my head in company was sliding down and my morale was going down but there was always that one excuse to hold on that little project that needed finishing and that would return the job to its glory days my friend's kids were now starting school and i think i even had to help another friend through her first divorce and here was i still single no kids and even the career was going downhill I think that's about the time I began looking back on former crossroads and paths not taken. The path of least resistance is what had led me here. You know, thinking I was treading water when actually I was sinking. A wise friend said in our 20s that we're only ever going forwards or backwards in life. I wish I'd listened to her sooner. I met one girl who took my mind off things for a while. We were on and off for a bit. Her life was pretty similar to mine, hence we gelled on a number of levels. But you can never judge a book by its cover. However perfect we seemed to be for each other, we still ended up clashing. She was part of a world I should never have been in, and I think both of us knew it. The next girl I met was just a friend, but she changed everything. She was part of a world that I wanted to get into. When the world I was in put me out of my misery, I had the chance to join her trade, and I did. When you're 34, you realise you're out of time for excuses and almost out of time for experimenting. I feel older on every night out. My body and my liver can't take it anymore. Most of my friends don't have time to socialise except in couples. I value the ones that still do. But I'm happier now, focusing on the work that suits me and the people who matter. I see time running out, but still have enough energy to set my course right. Just about anyway. I only wish I'd had the nerve to make the changes earlier, but you know what they say, it's hard to let go of the past. You just have to own your own mistakes instead of trying to redeem them. Then you can move on.